Hello everyone, in particular Casey, Miss Missy. I was under the impression that we were only recommending one book to each other, not the entirety of an author's works. You little cheater. But I'll let it go because I came prepared this week, my friend. You see, I was gonna just recommend that you read one book in a series and then you could decide if you wanted to read the rest, but no, you leave me no choice. I'm recommending them all to you. Casey, this month I'm recommending that you read three books by Kristen Kishore, Graceling, Fire, and last but not least, Bitter Blue. These three books make up the Graceling series and oh my goodness, I, I love these books so much. My dear friend Rachel really loves these books and she has recommended them to me for years and for some reason it always takes me forever to get around to sitting down and reading one of these but I always regret it in the end because they're so good I wish I would have read them ages ago so that I could have all that time left to reread them and appreciate them. The series starts off with Gracing of course and it follows the tale of a young woman named Katza who is a Graceling. A Graceling is a person born into the Seven Kingdoms who has been graced with a special ability. That could be an ability for baking, it could be an ability for extreme swords fighting, or in the case of someone in these books, it could be the ability to sniff a person and be able to figure out exactly what would be most satisfying for them to eat in that moment not making that up that is in one of these books you can tell who's a graceling because they will have different colored eyes and eventually they'll figure out their power one way or another graceling follows katza whose grace is revealed to be that she is a killer basically at the age of eight so she's taken in by her king uncle to be used as a thug as a child to do all of his execution. Then of course there's Fire, which is so, so good. It follows the tale of a woman who actually is named Fire. She is what is called a monster in her land. This actually takes place a long, long time before Graceling, but is but it is in the same world. Fire is probably my favorite book in this series, I'm not gonna lie. Fire is a monster, but it's not a monster in what we would refer to as a monster but she is incredibly beautiful and mystifying and she has the ability to control people's minds. So there's that. And then there's beautiful, beautiful, bitter blue. I just finished this book last night and man, this, I'm not gonna lie, this, this book is a hard read. So if you do decide to pick up these books, be prepared to know that yes, they're young adult and yes, they're fantasy, but they deal with some rough stuff. Still really good though. Bitter Blue takes place about 10 years after Graceling has finished. It follows a princess who has now become a queen. She's become a queen at a very rough time in her kingdom's history and Anything else I tell you will unfortunately be a spoiler for Graceling, so I can't actually delve into that. But trust me, it's it's very good. Very hard, but very good. I love these books for a lot of reasons. I love them because they're fantasy and that aspect is just fun to read about. I love them because the idea of Gracelings is so unique and so interesting and I love all the different graces that Kristen Kishore came up with. They're not just, this person's really good at sword fighting, it's the guy who can smell people, the girl who's fearless. Oh man, it's just, there are a lot of really cool graces in these books that are ones that I can't even imagine coming up with. <laughs> these plots are just so unique and so big. I mean, these books are quite huge. Bitter Blue is the biggest one, and it's pretty big. There's a lot that goes on in these books, but they never get confusing. They never become overwhelming. They're just really good. Casey, I really think that you would like them. I say start with Graceling. If you decide you like the world, move on to Fire, and then of course you have to finish with Bitter Blue if you start Fire. I mean, there's no other option. Really, I feel like there's no other option than to finish the series, but your mileage may vary. So Casey, that's my recommendation for you. It is the Graceling series by Kristen Kishore once again. For all of you out there, if you've read this series, please tell Casey in the comments how amazing it is. Let me know what your favorite book of the series is, maybe even your favorite character or your favorite Grace, which I think would be very interesting to talk about. I think my favorite Grace has to come back to the guy who can smell people with the food thing. That's that's just so useful. I never know what I want to eat. And Casey, the next time I see you, which should be relatively soon, maybe we'll just do a book exchange and I'll give you Graceling in exchange for one of Sarah Dessen's books. <laughs> or the two you recommended me. That's fair enough, I guess. Casey, I'll see you soon. And everyone else, you'll see me next week. Bye.